Okay, everybody, now I give the inspiration. Have everybody now, I will give the explanation for each spare part, the function, the name. So first, when we see the front of the machine, we can see first is the first is the control panel of the machine and the the door switch and the two door locked inside is the electronic control system for the machine and here is the cooling fine for the electronic system and also at the bottom of here is the LED highlight working light and imaging power switch and when we go to the right side here is the carriage we call all of this motion parts system named carriage and inside the top it have carriage electronic board sub in tank air tank inside have print head and UV lamp two UV, three UV, tank, UV lamp one for bigger and uh, one for big at the right and also one for varnish small UV lamp and also two static release system one at the left one at the right and the table one Q table for printing and also here is the rear and two linear layer and belt in film. So this the front left, front right. And when we go to the front left, and here is the cap station. There are three caps for maintain the print head. It's for it's only for without printing to keep weight without damage print head. And also here have a door where we open the clips and we take out. Here we can adjust the gap between the print head and the cap station. So this is the front of the atlas. So when we go to the front left control panel, we can see there are some buttons. So first is the boot. This is the general power switch. When we connect the power and the we, we, we push down, then the machine will get power. And please remember, do not power on and do not push this button without release the carriage and without check the table and also without do the preparement job, prepare job before power on the machine. Otherwise, we get problem for the machine. So this is the general power switch. And the VO is for the 1Q table. The 1Q table switch. When we click down the 1Q or or the table will have one queue. And if we click off all the table via without one queue to suck the material. And VA is for A area, one queue first area. VB is for one queue second area. And one queue C is for one queue the third area and the 1QD is for the number four 1Q area. So when we go to the table, so we go to the table we can see here is 1QA, 1QB is a half, a half, a half. 
here's A area, here is B area, and here is the right top is B, right bottom is C, and the left bottom, here, this area is C, 1QC area, and here is 1QD, 1QA area, so A, B, C, D. There are totally four area of the 1Q table can be controlled separately, unique. So if you print a small size material, you just print on here, you just click on the 1QA and 1QO. If you print a half on the width, so you click A and B. If you print all the table with soft material, so you just click on the B O and click on A B C D totally. So this is is for the five buttons is for control the one Q area by electronic system by automatically. So without use the branch to open or close. Okay, so when we go to the table, the maximum size for the table is 1.3 meter for the width and 1.1 meter for the length. And we divide this table by four area. It's same as A, B, C, D. So the area is the front, the right top, the left top here, this area is A area, 1Q, 1Q area. And the right front is 1QB area and the right bottom area is for 1QC area and the left bottom area is for 1QD area. It's same as ABCD control by this button. So the totally 1QO ABCD is for switch on or switch off for the 1Q suction system. Okay, so the P point up is the control button for the, the margin position magnet pin for on the table. They totally have lots of small pins on the table. The left of the table have four position pin, at the front have five pieces. At the left and right also have four pins. So, so totally have 13 pins on the table. So if we push down this button, P up, position up, so the position pin will be automatically moved up. Position pin will be moved up. It's controlled by electronic. And if we push down again, push the button again, the pin will automatically move down to make it flight of the table. This is for make the zero position, zero margin position of the flight material. So when we go to the button near the P up, we can see there are two plug named CN1 and CN2. So CN1 and CN2, these two plug is used for connect with the lottery print device. It's used for control the lottery device motor, such as print on the bottle, print on the ball, or print on the ceramic, the, the boring, water, boring tank, like as different, different rotary or marker, different material for rotary print, printing device. So these two plug is for connect the rotary print device. They also have two cable, female cable, named CN1 and CN2 on the cable. So if you just print on the table by flat, flat bait material, so you no need to connect the CN1 and the CN2 cable. So this is the control panel of the machine. At the left 
of the machine. Okay, this is the imaging button switch. So once we get the carriage or machine or the table, the motion is arrow or dangerous. We just push down immediately. Then the carriage and machine will without move to protect the human and also protect the machine. But if you push down the image power switch, but the negative pressure thank you also have have the power because if you shut down the all the machine power, the ink will be dropping. So this is for cut down the electricity and the signal for X, Y axis motion for images using. Normally using, do not to push down. Even, so also if you have danger, you push down, you, want, you release the danger, dangerous you want to use again, we must uh, turn around the button and release the finger to make the button move up again. Then the machine will power on, the signal will be con get through again. So push down for cut down and literally take it out for release. So this is the emergency power switch. When we go to the left side of the rear, we can see, first we can see the serial number of the machine. And also two linear rear and one carriage belt. And we go to the downside. We can see there are three caps. Three or four caps is dependent on the configuration of your machine. So for example, for this configuration, it's three caps. One, two, three. The first one is for white to the cap for white. And the middle is for color. And the last is for varnish. And also the caps, the cap you can take it out. It's for keep weight the print head after, after the machines without printing. And once you want to print the bike again, you need to pop off the machine and release the knob at the bottom. So this is the keep weight dish with cap station, with caps. And at the bottom is the flashing dish. Inside have some waste ink, it's for hold the waste ink. So normally using, doing printing, we must take it out this keep weight system. It's only for keep weight without printing. And if you print, you just take it out. Without printing, put back. And when we open the clip here, and we take it out, here we can see there are some control system of the knob. So if we load this knob, so the cap station will move up to keep weight, the print head and the cap station. If we move down, So we can take it out the cap station and also hold the waste ink from the print head. So this is the cap station for the printer. For keep weight and for flushing, for cleaning, clean the print head. Okay, when we go to the left side of the carriage, we can see for the top is the negative pressure screen of the white and white and varnish ink channel. It show the current negative pressure number per meter of the on the meter, and here named MP point W is named uh, means negative pressure white and varnish. So this is for clean the print head to, 
to flush the print head to get print head, the ink goes through to the print head. It's used for clean the print head and flush the print head. And this is the temperature controller, control, controller for the heating system of the sub ink tank and the heating system of the bottom pallet. So this is the temp controller, temperature controller. And this part is instead is one bigger UV lamp to cool the white and color ink at left. And when we go to the right outside here is the static elevator to release the static electricity on the surface of the material to get the high quality printing to make sure the ink job print on the material will not we are not bent but stretched because if there are too much static electricity stay on the surface of the material so the ink job print will be got bent so this is the static elevator device at the left and at the bottom here is the anti corrosion system. This anti corrosion system is to protect the print head and the carriage. Once some material on the table, the gap is bigger or higher than the surface of the print head, it will hit this anti corrosion system first, then the carriage will stop move. Once you release the anti collision system, then the carriage will recover to print. So this is the spare pass at the left side of the carriage. When we go to the right side of the carriage, we can still also see some spare pass mount installed on the right side of the carriage. Also, the first one is the negative pressure meter. It's sure the parameter and current or setting negative pressure of the color ink. The color ink means CMYK totally. And also here is the negative pressure button to flush for color ink to flush the print head of the color ink. Like as CMYK. So this is the head cleaning switch. And also inside have two UV lamps. At the back side is a bigger UV lamp to cube the white and the color print head ink. And at the front inside is the small UV lamp to control to cube the ink of the varnish print head. And also this one is the static Elimiter to release, to limit the static electricity that stay on the material surface. And also at the bottom here is the anti collision system to protect print head and carriage without damage once some higher material to hit the carriage. So it's for protection to protect carriage and protect print head. Once it's clicked, it's, it's hit, then the carriage will stop move. Once you release, then carriage will back to move. And also at the bottom of the static device, here you have static power. So please do not touch this parts by your finger or the body, otherwise they got shot because it is for release the static to remove the static stay on the material surface. So this is the right side of the carriage. Okay, when we go to the front of the carriage, there's a cover with the focus incorporation logo. So we take it out. Here, we take it out. It's, it's locked by the magnet. 
there are four magnets, one, two, three, four, and also here have pin to lock. So we take it out, move up a little bit, and take it out, the cover. Then we can see the inside system of the carriage. First, we can see there are printed heads. There are three printed heads, one, two, three printed heads for Rico G, G, G5i print, uh, print head model. But this print head, we are not installed before delivery. So, once you get the machine, you need to install the print head and connect the cuber by yourself. Because if we install the print head before delivery, it will have, have risk. If a uh, low delivery, it will be easy to damage the print head. As you know, the print head is very really expensive. So we must treat the print head as princess. So this print head and print head cable for each print head have two print head cable up and down and print head transit board and print the carriage bottom pallet board, aluminum board and the heating system for the bottom pallet and also when we go to the back side we can see there have one device here is the automatic detect device to detect the material thickness and on top is the limited sensor the limited sensor here and the magnet here so all the this device is for detect the material thickness and also we can see this the power switch for the temp controller for the bottom pallet and the sub ink tank so when we open this ink tank Okay, when we go to the, the bottom of the carriage, we can see first there's a deep sensor. The right limb sensor to protect the carriage move to the right and without stop. So this is the right limb sensor. And we go to the middle. This is the in code sensor. At the middle, here is a transparent ink film. This is the transparent ink film, and this is the ink sensor. Here, must pay attention that we must be sure the transparent film must stay at the middle of the sensor, without scratch the both sides or top side of the film. Otherwise, the carriage wheel cannot print properly. And then here is the home limit sensor. So when the carriage moves, to left, and it will stop when the sensor gets detected by the metal, by the detected metal here. And also must be sure the metal stay at the middle of the home limb sensor. OK, when we go to the front side of the carriage, we can see there is a cover with the laser engraving logo, focus incorporation. So when we take it out of the cover, we can let's see what inside. So first, we look loosen the screw at the top left and right top then we take out the cover easier 
and then we can see there are one, two, three, four magnets to touch the metal without moving the cover. So also if we want to install bike, we also we can we need to go to the back side of the cover. We can see there are one, two position pin that install that wide at the, the both sides of the cover. And also at the carriage also have one, two pin at the carriage. So if we want, if we want to install bike, we just uh, make the pin connect to the hole and if you automatic stick by the magnet and also we install back the screw for each for using. So when we take it out the cover, we can see there are some spare parts installed at the middle uh, inside of the carriage. The so first is the sub ink tank for each color. There are totally six sub ink tank. First is white, and two white divide to four ink tuber to connect with the white print head. And black is for one, cyan, magenta, yellow, varnish, also two channel divide to four channel to connect with the varnish print head. The brand new machine we got, we are without install the print head because if we install the print head and we connect the tuber, it's have risk because if the machine with rough delivery deliver, then we easy to damage the print head. As you know, the print head is the main core spare parts expensive spare parts for a machine, for a printer. So for safety, we, we just the brand new original package delivery of the print head. Once you get a machine, you need to install print head. So also go to inside, we can see there are totally four print head installation adapt board. One, two, three. All are with screw lock ready. So later if we want to install print head, we need to take it out and then install print head and install the print head with adapter board to this bottom board. So there are totally three adapter board to install the print head, one, two, three. And also when we go to the inside, we can see there's a control device. Here is for protect, here is for make detect sensor for the material. It can be moved up and down. And here's the, the gap detect sensor. And here's the detect magnet. Later we must be, we teach you what they're using and how to use it. And also, when we go to the front, this is a heating system, heating film for the bottom pallet to make the, all the system, the, all the pallet system get temperature heating to get a good ink viscosity to have the better printing resolution. So this is the inside of the carriage we got the machine. Okay, when we go to the bottom of the table, we can see there are also some spare parts that are installed inside of the machine. So first, this one is the big power vacuum motor to give the vacuum dispatch from one tuber dispatch to four different tubers that connect each to each ABCD area. But for get the vacuum of the subsection system working. And here is for the air release filter to protect the motor. And from the inside, one, two, three, four, these four blue spare parts is 
the elasticity elasticity value switch for the air tuber is same controlled by the control panel as V A B C D and here is the power supply box used for the zero margin position connect zero margin position pin to get the faster faster margin position okay when we go to the back side of the machine we can see first this is the UV control box and also it with at the front have the temperature controller screen and general power switch for the UV control box and also three adjust the knob for each lamp there are totally three lamp UV1, UV2 and the varnish at the top is the water cover, water tank cover. When we open it to fear, we need to fear the water to get the water cooling effect. When we go to the front, when we go to the back side of the machine, we can see there are some ink tank and also some plug, also the label that install at the back side of the machine. So first, this one is the safety plug, power plug. When you get the machine, it's connect. It's big MB, big power. And here also have a pin. When you install back, just the pin with pin, put inside and lock. Please remember, please pay attention to that. Please ask focus support team that be sure, confirm the power supply of your country. 220 voltage or 110 voltage and must keep your electricity stable without without a, a change frequency keep the power, power supply between 220 to 200, 230 if over 230 please please check your electricity system then make stable and then give the power to your machine for safety. And also here is some water tube for the UV control box and a signal tube for the UV lamp and also the UV lamp signal cable. And also the bottom is the machine, la machine label that gives some information to show you the production time and also the manufacturer some information of your machine. And also, in, when we go to this side, we can see there are some uh, cover in tank. They totally have eight ink tank. At the left is black, cyan, magenta, yellow, white, varnish, and the last two is for backup. It's empty. Do not, do not load ink to the last two ink tank. Keep this one and this one empty without load ink. And for the top is the, the detect alarm, the light for the ink level for each ink tank. When the ink lack of, when the ink tank inside lack of ink, then this light will be on and give the alarm sound. The alarm sound for each. And also here is the switch to, to release the alarm, the light, the light. Once you get a new machine without load ink, if you open it, then all the light will be on because all the ink tank without ink. And also will be have the beep sound coming out. So if you want to release it, you just close it. So normally using, when you feel ink, normal using, please keep this light on not open, not close. Keep it on to, to show the current ink level for each ink tank for safety.